here we go. Seems like just yesterday, season three started, and now we are already in the playoffs. This is division two, so the all three of our divisions are gonna have a separate playoffs. So division two has their own playoffs, division one and division three. We are gonna be doing the semifinals of division two and division three today. So after this, we will have instigators versus saviors, and those are our only two matches today. And if you're like, why are we only doing two? It's because playoff matches are a little bit longer. Normally a division two game would be first to two map wins. This is gonna be first to three. So a little bit longer than they're used to playing. And division one is gonna be first to four. Couple changes in format. Seems like Depsy's gonna be flexing over to tank to cover Godnilla. They were originally supposed to play DPS, but Godnilla MIA today for Ragu. Disaster for them as that's a pretty big part of their squad here. That is a crazy name. <laughs> I love it though. Thank you, Belle Delphine's Bathwater for the follow. Love the name. Thanks for stopping by. We are about to start our playoffs off here. Ragu's gonna be on attack. Evergreen gonna be on defense. Ooh, running the pocketed echo. Interesting. Not seen Farah from either of these teams. We've seen Farah quite a bit lately, but both teams are gonna stick with Tracer and then a flex DPS. Boost Dioro versus Chris. Tracer duel. This is gonna be good. Chris was almost not in the lineup today, but they subbed in here for Godnilla, and they're gonna get the first opening pick immediately taking out Solvi. That is the Winston down. Ragu needs to take advantage of that. It's a huge pick. They're gonna lose their Junkrat though, making it a 4v4. Solgi's gonna be coming back now on the D.Va. They had an open window taking out that Winston, but the other Evergreen players are doing a good job. They're gonna make it a 4v4. Depsy now charging the high ground. But they are going to get a tick out of it, but the tank is back. They'll be waiting on their Junkrat, but they're gonna lose their Brig champ. And Raku's gonna have to probably back up here. It was a good start, and they got those first couple kills, but not gonna be enough. Boosty is gonna clean it up with a double kill, gonna chase Chris. Will they be able to finish him off? Nope, gonna have to back up. Ooh, and two more. Thank you so much to the God Owl724 for the follow, and thank you to Van Game G305 for the follow. Appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in to our playoffs, and thank you for dropping a follow. All right, so Ragu with a tick and a half, so technically that's a win condition. I mean, full holds on Nimbani ha happen more than you might think. This map is hard to attack, which is probably why Evergreen chose it here. Ragu gearing up for the next attack. Oh, Stickman up to no good. Depsy gonna get an opening pick again, this time on Bustioro. Jacob ties it up, nice anti-nade. So both teams without a tracer at the moment. But both DPS alts ready for Evergreen. Here comes the copy. You're gonna get Brig. <laughs> Thrown around by the Junkrat. Bustiero coming back with a Pulse Bomb. Hyper Swiss is gonna go down to Solki. So Ragu with another opening pick, but this time not able to turn it into a tick. It looks like they're gonna have to back up once again. Bustioro barely winning that Tracer duel <laughs> and making sure Chris knows it. These teams wanted banter on. We uh, we have to make sure both teams are okay with banter, which includes teabagging and stuff like that. So don't worry. Ragu agreed to being bagged. <laughs> here comes the tire from Stickman. Really letting it cook here. Oh! <laughs> Well played, playing mind games with Boosty Oro, and it pays off. Eva Bomb's gonna drop, and it's gonna get a double kill. Massive Bomb is gonna open up the door. They just have to finish off him ready, and the tank. Boosty Oro's coming back with a pulse, though. They could spoil the fun. Huge play there from Zepsi and Stickman to get those three kills with their ultimates, and they have the payload now. They're gonna start moving. Highlight reel there. Still waiting for this pulse bomb. <laughs> it was a big bomb. 
The diva bomb, not the pulse. <laughs> Stickman, once again, gonna get boost to your I mean, a good junk rat is every tracer's biggest nightmare, and I believe Stickman considers themselves, so it's not just me saying it, a junk rat one trick, so. They know all the tips and tricks with that character and how to get value out of it. And Depsy, I think we gotta give them a lot of credit. They were supposed to be on DPS, but they've jumped into this tank role and they have been getting great value right now for Ragu. So, I'm not sure. They said Godzilla might wake up, which is the usual tank for Ragu. They might be able to sub in at some point in this match, because it is first to three. It'll be a longer match than usual. Picked copying the Tracer, trying to get this Pulse Bomb online. They are going to get it, but they got to use it. Almost gets the Brig there. The champ's going to force them away. Probably a good choice against this Tracer. Bomb's gonna come in. It's gonna get Jacob, but they're gonna lose their tank Depsy in the process. Wrist Pulse finds Bustioro. Gets the enemy Tracer with the Pulse. You don't see that a whole lot. Ragu trying to push this in. They need this team fight. Big kill from Stickman. I'm ready. One shot. Stickman with some huge picks. Soki's gonna try and stall with the bomb, and they're gonna be able to get back in mech. This is gonna give Evergreen time to get back. They need to demek this diva now. Just a meter to go, and Sogi is still holding. The nano from Jacob is gonna keep them fighting even longer. Finally demeked, but probably enough damage has been done. The reinforcements are gonna be here now, but it might not matter. They're gonna lose Bustioro early again. Depsy has really had their number. And it was a great effort from Sogi to try and stall that out, but who's gonna stay strong there. Let's get it done. And if I'm an Outliers player, I am taking some serious notes on this match. As a reminder, Outliers went 4-0 in the division, which means they are awaiting the winner of this match for the Division 2 Championship. Here comes another Stickman bomb as Vic is gonna take out Champ, put Evergreen up in the team fight. Splash water all over my nose. <laughs> Take the aggressive attack on the venture. And Ragu stalled for now. Not a whole lot of alts to work with either from either team. The only player with an alt right now is ready on the brig. For Swiss getting low though. A little bit of a standstill here. No picks coming in like the last minute. Depsy will break it though, getting a pick on Bustioro. Not gonna find anything with the bomb. Solgi's taking a lot of heat and they're not gonna be able to escape. Oh, and Chris not gonna have any mercy blowing up Solgi. Bustioro gonna try and stall. Stickman somehow gets out of there. Oh, it looks like they were slept. Big sleep. Double kill from Evergreen, though, to try and stop them right at the end here. They take out both supports, so right now Ragu's fighting with no heals. Those could be huge picks. They probably had it there if it wasn't for that. And they will. He sent back empty-handed. They don't have a whole lot of time left in the time bank. All right, and we're back like we never left. <laughs> As a reminder, the raffle for the first map is still going on. Enter with exclamation mark raffle for a chance to win 500 tokens. All right, Raku down to 30 seconds. I thought they were moving faster than that. But they're really going to have one more shot at this. They got it so close to the end of the map. But really, Evergreen's holding them up super close now, not wanting for them to even touch. And it doesn't look like they're going to be able to. They're losing tons of players in their own spawn. The only player that could really touch is maybe Chris. Got five seconds. They'll get there. Pustioro's ready for him. Gets the touch. Depsy coming. Stickman gets Sulky. This could be big, actually. Chris gonna be taken out by him ready, though. 4v4. Ragu needs to get on this payload. Their Diva's gonna get D-Mech, but right now, Evergreen doesn't even have a tank, but the remaining Evergreen players will clean up. Stickman's gonna get Nanoed, and Hyper Swiss, the last player, probably gonna get taken down here. Stopped short. Just barely. So 
So we'll have no tie today on this map. It's gonna have to be a matter of does Evergreen get it to the end of the map? Or are they stopped early? I have to see. Initiating match. All right. Let's talk about match number two after this. It's going to be Instigators versus Saviors. Instigators will be the home team for that one. And the winner will take on the Undefeated Misfits next week. Also, tomorrow we will have the Division 1 semifinals, which is going to be Clips versus Olympians. And the winner of that one will take on the Undefeated Hunters. Four teams, three teams, <laughs> went 4 0 on their season, one in each division. These are Hunters, Outliers, and Misfits in order. All right, Evergreen swapping over to the attack here. It's been pretty close so far, though. Ragu spaghetti sauce. That's Italian. Big thank you to Sornkel Wernkel. Hold on, let me try and say it right. Sornkel. Oracle <laughs> for the follow. Thank you so much, Sorncle. Appreciate that. Thanks for stopping by and checking out our playoffs today. Bustioro gonna get the opening pick, barely beating Chris in a 1v1 there. Gets very low in the process, but gets that health pack gonna be back up to full efficiency. Stickman gonna take out Fick, though. I mean, that's a Junkrat versus an Echo. That's pretty impressive to take him out that quick. So 4v4, but Bustioro finds Champ as well, making it a 4v3. Ragu already on the retreat as their tank gets anti. They're going to have to back on up. And it looks like Evergreen's going to get it on their first attack. They're going to take this payload and start moving. Yep, gonna lead the payload on its path and the rest of Evergreen gonna push up real far, making tons of space. Payload mobilizing. So I'm noticing D.Va on both sides. I haven't really played much Overwatch since the patch. Is D.Va like super meta now? Does anyone know? I'm curious. I'm with you. Green rounding the corner. Start getting close to this first objective, and they already have two ultimates to work with. Boosty Moro has the pulse ready, so we'll keep with the Diva Bomb. So we'll be taking a lot of heat, though. All tanks meta. <laughs> I thought Zarya was really good, though, so I feel like that would be good against Diva, but I don't know. Maybe that's my diamond brain talking. <laughs> Thank you for highlighting that. Beep, beep, poop. <laughs> Depsy gonna get demecked. We're gonna have to back up without their tank. Double kill though. Jacob gets double kill himself. Vict is gonna also take out Hyper Swiss. And right now, Evergreen is a force to be reckoned with. Just moving along really hasn't been stopped for more than a couple seconds. And they're gonna push this in in just a moment. Matrix gun. And Flyba. Gotcha. You know, a year ago that would have made me really happy, but I don't play as much Diva as I used to. <laughs> Turned into almost like a Doom main on, on tank. Doom and Maga, man. Ustioro up to no good with the Pulse Bomb. Almost gets the clip on Champ. Gonna keep the Pulse in their back pocket for now. Jacob going DPS on a lately, been getting a lot of picks in the kill feed. And Ragu is up against a tough challenge right now. Evergreen has four and a half minutes to get this in there. They are already getting close. Big thank you to Femboy Brazil for the follow. <laughs> the names of the follows today have been absolutely amazing. <laughs> but really appreciate that, Femboy Brazil. 
And this map, after what seemed like a close round one, it might be coming to a end here and a very quick attack phase. Stickman gonna be able to touch. Gonna be eliminated though. They're gonna try and use Hyper Swiss's window to try and get some value, try and stop Evergreen. They seem determined to get it in here. As we said, no overtime. They either get it or they don't. And it looks like they will get it. Evergreen's gonna win map number one. Means Raccoon's gonna be picking map number two. Let's go ahead and finish that raffle for that map. Winner is gonna be Scarlet Man. Congrats, Scarlet Man. You won 500 tokens. The next 500 token raffle is up right now. You can chuck that exclamation mark. You all look like you need some healing. Okay, make sure you use exclamation mark raffle to enter that raffle. Yeah, have it. 500 tokens richer, which is no drop in the bucket. 500 tokens can be a big deal. All right, heading to Junker Town. I don't know if we've played this map this season, but maybe that's what Raku's trying to get at. You know, I don't know. Throw Evergreen off their game. Still no sign of Godnilla. We weren't sure if maybe they would wake up and maybe <laughs> hop in the squad here for Ragu. And just a bit of context, if anyone's new, Godnilla is the starting tank for Ragu. It was supposed to start today. But instead, Ragu is rolling with three D DPS players, and it looks like they're taking turns playing tank, as Chris is now swapping to tank. Depsy was the tank last game, and now going to be on Widow. And honestly, they're doing pretty good. I mean... They really, especially on their attack phase, Ragu did very good with three DPS players and one of them having to play tank. <laughs> Hello. Looks like we might have a bit of a Widow duel here. I mean, Fict and Depsy. Sickman's still gonna be on Junker, I mean, uh, on Junkrat as a surprise to no one. Boosty are gonna be on the Ash, so. They're going full poke with a hog, which is a little interesting. I don't really think of ho hog as a poke here. Maybe he is, I don't know. Fict is gonna get the opening pick on Dempsey. Dempsey, sorry. <laughs> I, don't, I keep wanting to say Dempsey because I like that soccer player. Chris gonna be on the ram. Solgi gonna be on the hog. Solgi snatches Chris and is gonna eliminate them early. Ragu's gonna be tankless as they get ready for their next defense here. Dempsey almost finds Jacob. It's gonna win the Widow duel again, delivering a headshot to Depsy. You can hide, but you cannot escape. Big thank you to Quinsky for the follow. Appreciate that, Quinsky. Thanks for stopping by for our playoffs today. Fict really heating up on this Widow. I'm used to seeing them on Tracer and Echo. Widow, I'm not familiar with, but seeming to be going well so far. Ragu might have accidentally played right into Evergreen's hand here by choosing this oak centered map. Evergreen cleaning up nicely here. They're going to be able to get this first point without much effort. Champ is in a tough spot. Finished off by the Widow. Riss going to swap over to the Malga. Try something different out. Malga against Hog, I like that. <laughs> Music's bumping, thank you. <laughs> I made the playlist myself. <laughs> and I had to deal with only copyright free music, which is tough. All right, so picking up right where we left off, Evergreen has the payload, and they are nearing the second checkpoint. Chris swapping over to the Malga on Jacob. Gonna get the kill there. Chased by Solgi. Let's start unleashing those big guns into him. Just a little pick me up. Solgi gonna take out Chris. 
Mystic Man is going to take out Soldi, so both tanks down. And Champ's going to try and turn the tide with a rally. And that is going to force them back for now. Sniper. They're going to have to back up Jacob off the map. Going to be playing some Yari. First time we've seen that. As a reminder, this is first to three. So even if Evergreen wins this map, we'll be playing at least one more. Playoffs are one extra map win to win for all divisions. Worker's taking a ton of heat. And Solgi's on a little flank here. Up to something nefarious, but they spot him. Still on a flank. Up to no good. What is this hog up to? This is like Overwatch 1 hog. Oh, timer. <laughs> I'm wondering what that was. Double kill for Evergreen. Gonna take out Stickman and Chris. Epsi uses the visor, but just too much going on. Not gonna be able to get any value with it. They do force out him ready's transcendence, though. But the second objective is capped, and they still have four minutes on the time bank. Start moving. Teams taken out of support for V4 at the moment. The payload is still moving. They have Cage ready to go. We'll see if they drop it. Probably a good idea not to. Both tanks traded out again. It's funny. Whenever these tanks fight each other, they both just end up in the spawn room. Nick looking for Stickman. Be able to escape. Chris still with the cage in their back pocket, I'm waiting for it to come out. This could be a way to turn the fight a bit. Jepsy gonna swap over? Oh, I thought it was, they were gonna swap over to the Sombra, but instead they will match the Widow. So done with the soldier, it looks like. <laughs> it's funny, Chris keeps trying to shoot this <laughs> Widow from far range. But once again, Fick winning the Widow Duel. Solgi gonna be trapped in the cage. They're gonna try and get this hog. Okay, that's a good, that's a good kill there. Stickman needs some HP. Looks like Ragu's stabilizing. And the time bank's getting a little lower, under three minutes now. Especially if they can stall this fight out longer. Epsi swapping DPS again. Played almost every hit scan on the roster except maybe Ash. Yes, trade. They are stalled for now. So we'll be off the hog now, but I'll be swapping over to the Diva. I've never felt Divas very good against Maga. Whenever I play Maga, I like to play against Divas because I just don't feel like they counter me very well. But I don't know. <laughs> Ready, gonna use that Transcendence, gonna try and help Evergreen push this through. We'll see if they can do it. Just Chris out in the open right now. Champ's fighting somebody, but Solgi's gonna finish them off, so they're gonna lose their Brig. And with three kills there, it looks like they're going to be able to get it done. They do get up ready. A nice play from Stickman. But the payload will move in at 133. Are you going to have to get it to the end of the map? Even send this one to overtime. Otherwise, they're going to be facing down the barrel of a 0-2 deficit. Just a reminder, in case anybody didn't hear before, after today, after this match, we will have Instigators versus Saviors today. There'll also be first two, three map wins. That'll be the Division Three semifinals. And tomorrow we'll have the Division One semifinals between Eclipse and Olympians. Nine teams in the playoffs still. Only three will survive. Stay in sight. Two are gonna go down safe. today. Greetings. We are already starting preparations for Season 4. 
We're going to be adding five new teams like we've done the other couple seasons. We're going to have 20 teams. Four divisions each. It's going to be so much fun. Division four will be added next season. <laughs> Big man's still dancing. Still has that confidence. I like it. <laughs> Chris may be swapping over to the Junker Queen. Okay. And Evergreen swapping things. Solky's going to move over to DPS, which you are allowed to do. You are allowed to swap between rounds. So Boost Dioro is going to move over to Tank, going to be on Ramatra, which is interesting because I thought Solky was a Tank and support player. So seeing them on Tracer is interesting to me, but maybe I'm not 100% familiar with their game here. <laughs> Ragu starting to push. Chris Swiss gonna be the first casualty and Boost Dioro gonna finish off Chris. Stickman always gets their one. Gonna finish off Jacob, who's on the Life Weaver. Really interesting comp here. From both teams, Depsy on Hanzo now. Everybody swapping their hero, it seems like. Is Chris DCing again? <laughs> he definitely looked like he was DC. He was just walking straight without moving his camera at all. <laughs> hey, it scared back the Evergreen players, though. They they thought he was coming right at him. Stickman's going to find Solgi, but I'm ready. He's going to get Depsy, so it's going to be 4v4. Both teams missing a DPS. Picked on the Widow. Nothing really to contest them except maybe the Hanzo. They can go hog wild here. Dioro gets champ. Can't block those ram punches as a brig, fortunately. <laughs> Once again, getting Solgi, though. So, it's funny. These teams keep getting one kill on either side, but Evergreen still holding on to this position. Chris going to get on ready, though. That's going to be big. Dempsey finds Fick. Nice shot on the Hanzo. I think I called him Dempsey again. I'm not going to be able to stop that. I apologize. Chris in trouble though, kind of deep in enemy lines, but they are at 100% charge. They can really start laying down this beam. So you're going to try and stop it. They do have an ult in their back pocket. They also have a pulse bomb, which they're going to use now. Blocked by champ, and they're going to lose Boosty Aura before they can ult, so Ragu has to do it now. Inka going to try and counter with Tree. Ragu cannot afford to not get it here, but they'll be just fine. Just the Life Weaver and Tracer to worry about. Unless it's an insane hold. Boost Euro is on their way back with all. Oh, nope, not gonna happen. Rad, you gonna be able to get that first control point. Granted, much slower though than ever got. Daddy, reporting in. That time is gonna add up. <laughs> Duff, the Widow gonna be on cast. First time I've seen them on cast so far this match. Both DPS on either side flexing their hero pools here. Except, of course, Stickman, who doesn't need to flex their hero pool. <laughs> the junk god. Opening kill picked on Depsy. These two have had a duel the whole match so far. First with the grab, probably going to want to hang on to it, though. Looks like they'll die here and reset. Is still holding on to this Ramatra ult. Bogey has gotten <laughs> at a complete another ult <laughs> while we've been waiting for Boost Euro to use it. But it's a big ult. You want to make sure you use it at the right time. All right, Ragu coming around the side here. They have a grab and Kitsune rush to work with. They find Boost Dioro, they get them low. A couple arrows doing a ton of damage. As a reminder, Chris, Chris is a DPS player, not a tank player. Still not scared to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Boost Dioro. And here it comes. Gonna finally use that ultimate there that we've been waiting on. And now they're gonna unleash, ha unleash havoc now that they're out of the grab. 
Both teams putting some resources into that team fight, but it's Evergreen winning it. Magu gonna lose their grab and rush for absolutely nothing, unfortunately. Green holding well. They just have to keep Regu from getting all the way there, and they're gonna be one map away from the finals. Dempsey gets Stolgi. Opening pick could be huge. Jacob dropping the window. Do they go high noon through it? We'll see. Still holding on to it. Oh, it's a big dragon. It gets them ready. Almost gets a second one. Stickman going to try and add on to it with the tire. We know what they can cook up with the junk tire. Last Solgi, who's on the Sorb now. And here comes the High Noon. Gets one. Halo's moving in. Still have a couple more evergreen players to deal with though. And Jacob refusing to go down without a fight is gonna get a double kill on the Baptiste. Could be a triple here. Traded with Stickman. Just Chris in the area for Ragu. They need reinforcements badly. They're not gonna have another bubble though. Boost Yoro is gonna be able to finish him off. Ragu's last chance. Otherwise, they're gonna be down two to, one, two to zero. They've got any last minute magic. Or if this one's going to map number three. One kill on either side. Stickman blows up Ficked. But they're down. Now jumping on Jacob. <laughs> the shots are hitting, but Jacob still has the smallest bit of HP and is going to be able to weather the storm. And that will probably be it. Raku will be choosing the third and possibly final map as Evergreen is going to go up to zero. Alright, we'll be right back once map three is ready to go. Let's also finish the raffle. You play tank, just not in soul? I didn't know that, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you were... I was giving you lots of kudos, though, don't worry. I was saying, wow, this guy doesn't even play tank, and he's doing a great job. <laughs> I was, there was no hate, I promise. All right, Godnilla checking in. That's the only change. Evergreen gonna rock with the same five. Evergreen one map away from securing their spots in the finals against Outliers. I gotta do some swaps. Stiora swapping to Lucio, looks like. These guys love to flex. By flex, I mean like. Hold on. I'm so confused. No, Boost Dior is still on tank. Okay. Confusing me. All right. Here we go. Map number three. Did I start the raffle for this one? Yes. Use the command exclamation mark raffle. Got a chance to win 500 tokens. This could be the last map of this match, but we will still have another match right after this, and that'll be at least three maps, at least three raffles. So. The day is still just starting. Raku selected Li Zhang Tower. Boost Yora opening pick gonna get Stickman. Pepsi on the Widow. This time picked on the Farah. Oh, and they're up to no good behind. Pepsi almost gets them. Backs up. Boost Yoro having a field day on the Ram. Getting a double kill and pushing the remaining Ragu players back. So 
looks like it might be Ram v Ram. Godzilla, leave. I see them play more Ram than anything else. Wow, great timing for me to say that. <laughs> Gonna be swapping over to the Hog. He's still gonna go this left side, it seems. Zogi so on support now. They've officially played all three roles in this match. And flex player to a whole nother level here. So far, Evergreen's still in charge. They've got this thing up to 60%. Boost Hero taking a ton of heat. Vic's gonna find FC. Time being, here comes the Ramatra all Vic going crazy in the back line, gets a double kill. Now we're seeing some of that Farah. 4K on the Farah. And unless something crazy happens here, this first control point could be in the books. Very soon. What's up, Kevin Blue? Thank you so much for that follow. That's the same Kevin that's on Ragu, right? Good to see you. Good job last uh, last week against Evergreen. That was a good one. Farall's gonna get two, Boosty Earl gonna get one. And this stick man tire is gonna go out with a whimper. The first control point goes to Evergreen. They are just one control point away from sim from the finals. <laughs> Can't talk. I need more caffeine in my system. It is? Gotcha. Thanks, Kevin. Ready for battle. I have been studying the composition of your songs. Studying? <laughs> gotta get that gotta caffeine pumping. Enjoy the music. I enjoy the mathematics. All right, Ragu's last chance. See that, Chris? You got a shout out in the, in the match chat. <laughs> my instigators players, my saviors players, and ghostly the sub. You guys might want to be getting ready. Solgi just barely makes it out with their life. Well, I spoke too soon. <laughs> it still gave the kill to Stickman, even though that was a long time ago they got hit with that. Champ gonna be on the Lucio for the first time this game, and Ragu's gonna cap first, okay? So after not even sniffing the point last control point they are going to get that first cap i'm gonna keep reminding people because i never see people use it if you have one of the tools like uh better ttv or breaker face whatever you can type a team's name and then logo after it and it'll show the emoji in chat just a fun back for you if you ever want to use the team emojis. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. Opening pick, gonna go to Godnilla. Go on Godnilla. Stickman tries to tie it up, but Vic is just having their way on the far up. Gotta feel for Stickman. Because as a junk main, a far meta really has to be your worst nightmare. Expecting to go against a far every single game, and right now it is doing a lot because with just one hit scan trying to focus the far it's not enough. Here comes that all. Not gonna get anybody this time. Well, it is gonna get one person. Gonna be a trade 4v4. Champ breaks it down. Depsy has the visor. We'll see what they can get done. Trying to get him ready. He gets hooked away, though. And it looks like Ragu taking it back. We'll see if they can finish off the team fight. They're going to throw Ram off the side. Still has Jacob playing around. Okay, and they flip it back. This point's closer. Their last stand. They lose this control point or the next one. Their season is over until season four. Getting 
trap gonna have to back up. And Vic? Oh no, it's Jacob. Jacob on the Widowmaker now. Stickman does get the opening pick, and it's a big one taking out the tank. It's big for Ragu right now. They're getting close to possibly getting this objective, which would be major for them. It'd be even better if they could get this Widow. They do. All right. So Evergreen's gonna have one more chance and they don't have a Widowmaker. We'll see if Jacob comes back at something faster. They do have a Ram ult. Champ's gonna get picked though, which is also massive. The far was causing so much problems for them. Boostier are gonna have to run to point. They're probably gonna have to use all here. Champ trying to stop them at the door and actually they're not even gonna go in. Didn't even wanna use Ram ult. Ragu at least gonna put a control point on the board. Maybe Godzilla's starting to warm up. I know they just woke up. And if you put me in a league match after just waking up, it would not be a pretty result, so I feel that. <laughs> no way, is Vic going the junk rat? Are we gonna have junk v junk? <laughs> This is like the best Junkrat map in like all of Overwatch, right? Like this part of Li Zhang, right? The Ragu's season will stay alive for at least one more control point. We'll see if Evergreen makes any adjustments. So they are coming out as Junkrat, so we're gonna have Junk be Junk. I know I'm taking over 600 damage insanely quick out in the open. Champ in trouble though, but Stiora putting a lot of heat into him. Able to get out though. Nobody dead so far. We might start seeing alt before anybody dies. Bustiora gets trapped, but gonna be able to survive with their shield. Nope, they're gonna be go down. DPS for Ragu coming up big, getting three kills. Almost the fourth. Stick to skate. They do. Good job. Grand on Mercy. That's funny. <laughs> Ragu capping first again. Uh oh. As they say in the NBA, don't let them get one. <laughs> we'll see. I know it's gonna take out him ready, so that's gonna force them to have to wait for their Baptiste to respawn. I don't know. Could be a momentum shift if Ragu's able to get this map. Now they are in the driver's seat. And they have a tire to work with both Junkrats with a tire. Victor's gonna start the party first. Double kill. Big tire. Stickman still uses theirs. Jacob survives with the tiniest bit of HP possible. <laughs> and Evergreen finally gonna be able to flip it after they take care of the stragglers. Godnilla just trying to hold it as long as they can. Champ's gonna come back and Godnilla does get Zolki. Hold on. Oh, the Lucio beat is not gonna save the tank though. Don't do it. Oh, they did it. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> no, save it for the next team fight. Uh, <laughs> as soon as I spectated the soldier and saw the advisor, I was like, no, they're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. Don't do it. <laughs> And now Evergreen has the point and the alt advantage. Everybody has an alt except their Junkrat. Complete opposite for Ragu, just one player with alts. And they're gonna use that alt. Haven't lost any players yet though, forcing their way through the window. Dangerous place to stand. They're gonna use their Lucio alt and their Sojourn alt, but Jacob's gonna die before they can get any value with that overclock. But be big, they are starting to flip it. They just face tanked three ultimates and didn't lose anybody. That's kind of crazy. Hyper Swiss and Champ working overtime on the heels. They flipped it back, and if they get some picks here, this could be over. Find the junk rat. Vanilla taking so much heat though, those Ramatra force whatever fields on the ground. They really hurt a hog. Dickman gets him ready. Ustiora going straight into the alt. But gonna be taken out. 
hope for Ragu. The dream survives to map number four. Vortex, thank you. That's the word I was for. Regular reverse sweep. Spicy fries, once again, you wagered on every green. <laughs> Real ragu believers in chat. Score. <clears throat> Initiating. That's it. There it is. Okay. Okay. Dream is alive. Sorry, instigators and saviors. You guys probably thought you were up. <laughs> Not yet. Keep warming up. As a reminder, we have another raffle for map number four right now. 500 tokens. Make sure to enter. Also, update. I know a while ago we uh, we said we were going to do a jersey raffle. And... Like, because we reached a channel point goal. I want to let you know I did not forget about that. I didn't scam you guys out of 100,000 channel points. I'm probably going to post it... Maybe tomorrow. So keep an eye out. Any sub donos for a rookie? Yeah, where are the sub donos at? I mean, uh, where are the uh, we need like our our savior, like junior or something. Like <laughs> they would always like help people out or or Jaren, but both of them have they've definitely done their part. So <laughs> I'm definitely not expecting them. Spice, you should change the map screen for season four. It pisses me off that it only shows four. How many would you like it to show, Lila? I'm curious. All right. They are swapping the tank back to Solgi. God, no look at them coming out on the Reinhardt. Interesting. I haven't seen that hero since the patch. Man, they are taking some heat. FC does get thick though. We'll see if the res comes through. Doing a good job of keeping Depsy away. Ooh, nice shot there. Sick man running down Solgi. Ustoro will be rezzed. Interesting team fight here. Ganilla on their way back. The Ragu Squishies did a good job of holding while their tank was dead. Let me moving from the Ryan to the Ram, it looks like. They want to swap these evergreen players in world order. It's bothering me. <laughs> Devsy really heating up on the Widow. Gonna get picked, but at the exact same time, they're gonna lose champ. Gets another heady. Zolgi refusing to die on <laughs> the Zarya. Finally will be eliminated. Now I can put it in world order. Zolgi tank. Ah, oh, that's bad. It like nags me in my brain until I can put them in the order. <laughs> All right, and a couple alts ready for Regu. They're gonna have window in sights. They're gonna try and use sights here to steal this lead back. Nick now matching the widow off the Farah, so we're gonna have a bit of a widow duel. But Depsy knows exactly where the widow is and able to land that headshot. Was there any doubt? Being pushed by the Czar. Depsy heating up! Oh my goodness, they are getting headshot after headshot for Ragu right now. Solki gonna go ahead and use the grab, but it's not gonna get anybody. In fact, Solki kills himself trying to deal damage to the grab. Nico, nice duel though, taking out Depsy. They are without DPS. Stickman still with a long walk. Ragu probably gonna be stopped before they can get this first control point. In fact, they might wanna already start backing up. Noon comes out. B2 Hyper Swiss going down. I can make some examples of what I'm talking about. Sure. Yeah, I definitely think the map blue screen is something we could improve a lot. So I would love to hear ideas. 
it's like extremely bare bones right now and I've just never gotten into the process of fixing it. Two kills from Ragu, stick man still in enemy territory. Vic finds champ, it's a major kill there. Ooh, almost. That would have been clean. <laughs> Now Ragu on the retreat. It's gonna be Evergreen's turn for their attack. No one can it's gonna be training the Zarya for a Eva instead. By the way, some people were asking why are we doing uh, why are we splitting up the divisions into two days? This is why. We're still on the first match and we're already an hour in. <laughs> Big Diva Bomb! It gets two players and the tire. And that is going to lead to them stealing this lead back. Vanilla just trying to get to their spawn room. Not going to happen. Zulgi and I'm ready. Going to stop them short. Now Evergreen going to be able to get this control point. It started as a good start for Ragu. Is slowly starting to slip away. Winning the Widow Duel like they did on Junker Town. Godnilla gonna go for it. Needs to convert some kills on this, but they use both support alts. Gonna match the Katsune Rush. Trying to keep Godnilla up, but they will stay alive. Man, it is an alt dump and a half. Great shot. Like, we're probably gonna take back control here, but. Are you gonna have that? We need the robots back. What do you call it? <laughs> the control thing. Picked, looking for an unsuspecting ragu member. Stickman probably has no idea who's lurking in the shadows. Nope. Doesn't connect. Sometimes it's when they don't know you're there. It's the hardest to hit the shots. <laughs> Oh, found them there. No one can hide from my sight. Transition straight into sights. That will mean Regis will have to back up again. We'll team wipe there, and Evergreen's gonna be back in possession. We're over halfway through. Ragu did a good job bouncing back on Li Zhang, but now it's looking worrying. And we'll find the Lucio though. It's a good start. Just misses the hop. What a shot. Your carry is here. Let's see, done with the widow duel, gonna go for the Hanzo instead, which can be a pretty good widow counter. Healing for their squishies as Evergreen backs up. Great hook. Not gonna be able to finish off the kill though, so close. So, DD Mech's gonna use the bomb. <laughs> God, no, barely able to get to cover, it was close. And without their tank, they're gonna have to back up Stickman, just dropping tons of bombs on the squishies, forcing them to head back to their spawn. Started with Depsy getting hot on the Widow, and now it's transitioning perfect getting hot on the Widow. Going nuts. I'm with you. Kaku approaching the checkpoint. If they can get this, it would really put them back in this game. Huge pick from the Hanzo, gonna take out the Tracer. Pick done with the Widow, gonna be swapping over to the Tracer. I haven't really seen him play Tracer yet, but it's a hero we've seen him play quite a bit in the past. Ragu pushing the lead, still probably one team fight away though. But they're gonna have both support alts to try and push it in. They're gonna have to deal with the Katsune Rush in a high noon though. There they go. Using their resources now, they weather the high noon, they get two kills. Both DPS getting a kill there. Lead could be snatched. 
all five Ragu players still alive and putting heat into Evergreen, who's forced to push back. Ragu's gonna take the lead with less than two minutes left in the match. Now the pressure is on for Evergreen. They're gonna have to take control of this bot and push it back deep into Ragu's spawn in less than a minute and a half. Ragu with no ultimates to work with, though, gonna have to try and weather Evergreens, and they are not gonna be able to. They use both support alts, though, to win this fight. All they have now is Pulse Bomb, and they have a Diva Bomb loading up. Ragu really not close to any alts except maybe Tire. It's gonna be close, but this is really nearing on the final fight. Ragu season on the line for Evergreen. They still have some wiggle room. They're up two to one right now. If they lose this map, they still have Flashpoint. Here they come. Less than a minute to take this lead back. Otherwise, we go to map number five, the maximum amount of maps. Could be a crazy finish. What's been a crazy division. It's a trade on either side. Evergreen back up. They get one. They get another. They're clutching out the team fight. Stickman does have the tire ready to go. Godzilla finds Fict though and is able to heal up, causing havoc in the back. They've got 20 seconds. Oh, Bustiro gets trapped, but they're not able to finish them off in time. Nilla's taking a lot of heat. Jacob blown up by Stickman. Ragu just has to push them off the cart and they win. They have two. It smells like map number five. Here we go. Not over, over. Just a couple stragglers. And it's happening. We'll finish at Flashpoint. We are tied up. The reverse sweeps on the table. And it is up to Evergreen whether they want Servasa or New Junk City to finish this match. Two to two. Oh yeah, raffle. <laughs> one sec. All right, I was too excited. I forgot about the raffle. Winner of the last one is Aspect Siege. Congrats, Aspect. And the next 500 token raffles begun. No offense to Evergreen or Ragu, but let's get this match over with. You guys have bad internet. <laughs> Saviors and instigators, I hope you guys can at least do me good on the internet. <laughs> if it's a reverse sweep, an orphanage will be missing tonight. That's nuts. Right, you got this? We'll see. I mean, they're gonna feel some momentum right now. What's going on? Okay. Looks like Evergreen pulling out a play they haven't pulled out before. Vic, who's been on DPS this whole game, is on Junker Queen. They are playing the third player on tank. They played this match. What are they cooking? But I I don't know for sure, but I do believe Ficht is a tank player. I remember seeing they had like a Grandmaster tank title when I was in a lobby. So it's not like they're just throwing some DPS player on tank like Ragu was doing earlier. This is, I'm pretty sure, a seasoned tank veteran. <laughs> but it's interesting. I wonder what the change is for. Jacob's gonna get the opening pick, gonna take out Godzilla, who once again is starting on Ryan. We'll see if they swap off. Ustiora slices up Dempsey, and it'll be Evergreen capturing the control point first. Evergreen lands the first blow. And you know what's funny is usually when we come to a flashpoint for the last map in a series, 
They'll almost always go to five flashpoints. They just like to make it as close as possible. We'll see if that happens again. Right, got no one to stick with the Reinhardt. Trying to get in. Misses the pin again, and here comes the anti from Ficht. And it hits almost everybody on Ragu. Immediately in danger. And this first can flashpoint is going to be an absolute wash. I guess this new play for Evergreen really working out here. They're going to take their other two plank tank players... Boost Yoro and Solgi and throw them on DPS and it seems like it's working out. Captain Amari, reporting for duty. Boost Yoro. But Boost Yoro is able to join back whenever they are back online. But for right now, Evergreen is a man down. These are the current rules we have operated under. You can check the rule book. But it is very unfortunate in this case. Stickman gonna blow up Ficht. And Raku gets a couple kills to secure this flashpoint. As a reminder, Boost URL can join back at any point. I'm gonna be actively inviting them if I can. But unfortunately, per the current rules, if a player disconnects twice, they can only use the time bank that they had when they joined back. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to do subs because it was abused in the past where people pretended to do disconnects so that they could sub in players. So, unfortunately, we cannot do that. You can do it, like, in between maps, but it can't be in the same map. But this is just... It's just unfortunate. I'm sure everyone in this lobby would prefer, you know, the most important map of this great series to just be both teams at their full potential here. So hopefully Boost URO is able to get back on before this map gets too far into it. Throw back to Phoenix vs. Eclipse? Oh no. <laughs> so they're going to get the second flashpoint. Still no signs of them. I'm going to see if I can fight them again. It's just unfortunate but I mean the rules are in place to prevent abuse I mean I'm not saying this is happening obviously it's not what's happening but I mean a team could just keep disconnecting for any any reason you know to cause issues or something or plan you know plan something out so unfortunately we just have to operate with what we have fixed with a big play though is gonna lead to a triple kill Quadruple kill. I'm ready. He's gonna take the ace from them, but huge kill to buy some their teammates some more time. And if they win it 4v5, holy cow, that's gonna be crazy. But what their their job right now is we've already seen Boostero disconnect once and come back. Their job right now is to buy him time. Oh, but they're gonna get hooked. That's gonna be brutal. Fick barely going to be able to escape. Tank for Raku gets very low. Somehow going to stay alive there, but they're going to lose Fick. Ready? Able to get a kill on Godzilla, but Depsy's going to get a double kill after a nice anti. Who's gonna flip the flashpoint at 45%? Meat can, where's meat can? <laughs> Call for a restart. Unfortunately, that's not how these things work. You guys gotta understand all the rules that are here, they're here so people don't abuse them. <laughs> will it unfortunately lead to stuff like this? Yes, yes it will. It'd be better if this wasn't the last map because then they could get a sub in there. 
just could not be worse timing. Ragu now at two control points, still no sign of their last player. God, this is gonna be a mess to deal with too. <laughs> we can, you really, you really, you really did it this time. Solki is gonna get a big pick though to make this a 4v4 team fight. Possible they could still buy some time for their teammate here. Both hogs go down, but it looks like Evergreen's up in this team fight. Still a few Ragu players to finish off though. A win is a win. You guys say so. <laughs> I mean, it's not Ragu's fault. I mean, that's an important thing to understand too. Is it's not their fault, you know. It's no one's fault. It's just unfortunate. That's the problem with, you know, online esports. It can be fun. You can play with people from all over the world, but this is the kind of thing. Boost Yoro's back. Okay. Boost Yoro is back in the lobby. Here we go. Okay. Has a chance to save the day. Rag I mean, Evergreen has control of this fourth flashpoint. It's going to get flipped over, but they have their fifth. It's not over. The hope is alive, but... Crucially, they can't lose another flashpoint. They need to win this one and they need to win the next one. Back to a 5v5. The damage was two control points, but it's not over. They came back just in time. Just when they were needed the most, Bushiro showed up. But they still have their work cut out for him. Ragu does have, you know, this momentum. Winning two maps in a row. Jacob opening pick. Jacob double kill on the Zen. <laughs> and why do I feel like this is going to come to the fifth flashpoint again? I told you it always happens. I mean, a weird way of getting there. Right? A, a strange way for it to happen. But it seems like it's happening again. I said these first to five maps, they always go to five flashpoints too. Always Servasa. It is. All right, but I mean, it might not go to a fifth flashpoint. Ragu has a chance. They have a team fight right here. If they win this team fight, they win the match. They win the game. They go to the finals. Stickman gonna try and use a tire. Fict is gonna finish him off. Oh, Fict, beautiful play. Gets the kill and the tire. Saves the day for Evergreen. He's gonna force this probably to a fifth flashpoint. Yep, here we go. Per huge. <laughs> A five map series is gonna come down to a single flashpoint. Here we go. Evergreen have their fifth back. All they have to do is win this flashpoint to complete a pretty insane comeback, but it's like a comeback within a comeback. I mean, Red Goo was trying to do a comeback, coming down two maps to zero. I'm just happy because now, <laughs> now it's not going to be a big, huge problem, no matter which team loses, because before it was going to be a freaking mess. Both tanks on the Roadhog slugging it out. So he's going to start off with a Bastion all aiming for the Ana. Not going to find anything. Got no one in trouble, not going to be able to survive. Fick takes him out. Big play, Fick with a double kill. Evergreen in control of the objective. Picked putting the team on their back even though it's their first time playing tank in this match. And Ragu just needs to die. They're just getting staggered at this point. Just die. Their supports die late. Okay. I forgot to say, but my instigators, my saviors players, get ready, because this is the last flashpoint. You guys are up next. Still have a match right after this. And it's a major kill and probably the last team fight. Depsy goes down to a hook by Fict. This is probably the end unless Ragu can get a pick here to tie it up, aiming for the Zenyatta, who's gonna ult. 
Stick Man does get Solgi, but Evergreen has too many alts to play with, and they're gonna do it. They made it real close, especially Boost Yoro's internet. <laughs> what a series. Evergreen will be advancing next Saturday to face Outliers for the Division 2 Championship.